uh, variables, which is my third factor, my third component. Now I've got SPSS to actually create component scores based on these. All right, so the first component score is based on this combination. The second on this, it's actually based on the unstandardized equivalent, but just go with me on this. So the first one is memory, verbal, spatial. Okay, uh, memory, component, I should reverse that. Component, memory, component, uh, what was the other one? Verbal, and component, spatial. All right, and I'm going to get rid of this. So some people might be inclined to do the analysis that way. Why don't we make super variables based on the component scores, and then we can do an ANOVA on them. Actually, I have to do it in linear. Mm, actually, I, actually, I'll have to do it three times. Oops. Because I won't get the effect size if I don't. OK, so memory, and I'm going to click OK. So I'm just going to do it three times on the three component scores. Uh, one more. You know what, I probably actually should have did one on the, the G factor as well, the general factor. OK, I'll do it one more time. I'm going to create a component score for, for direct. Actually, I won't do it. I won't do that. Let's look at the partial later squares for these three analyses. So when I, I, when I did the MANOVA, I got the, a big effect size of 29.7% of the variability in the canonically MANOVA-derived super variable. That's a big effect size, 29.7. But when I do it, based on component scores, uh, I do not get as big of an effect size. So education level, based on the memory component scores, is only 0 0.055. And then when I look at uh, education level, it's on um, verbal, it's bigger, but it's still only 0.155. It's not close to 29. And on uh, education level for uh, the last one, spatial, it's only 0 0.07. So why is there a difference? It's because principal components analysis, when it creates its component scores, is not taking into consideration the independent variable for the purposes of maximum discrimination. Only the MANOVA is doing that. And that's why the MANOVA is the most powerful way of getting a statistically significant effect on a group of dependent variables that are intercorrelated with each other. But the only way to get the interesting information in the same way that a component analysis that gives you is to actually do MANOVA through syntax and then look at your discriminant functions. Anyway, amazing. I'll, seriously, I'll be amazed if anyone is actually listening this far in this presentation. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. And um, I find this you know, totally fascinating uh, types of analyses. And um, thanks for listening.